Welcome back guys. I have made it to Taipei once again. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the metro system here in Taipei. I'm currently at one of the many stations here in Taipei. I believe there are five lines and I don't know how many stations, probably a couple hundred. The one I'm at right now is called Fuzhong on the blue line. It's kind of an overcast day, so let's get underground so I can show you guys how everything works. If you don't want to walk or you don't have a scooter, you can always take a taxi. So at this station, you can see there's about eight taxis lined up. So if you need a taxi, don't worry. You'll always find a taxi as soon as you come out of the subway. One thing to always remember too, whenever you're taking escalators here in Taiwan and actually throughout Asia, that you want to stand on the right side. People are going to be walking down on the left side. I've never seen this before, guys. Look at this. There's a water dispenser here. You can get free water. You can get boiling water. You can get continuous water. You can get hot water. Everything here is free. I've never seen this. Free water in the subway. In Taipei, there are two ways that you can pay for a ticket. One is by cash. You'll get like a little coin. The second way is you can get an easy card. You buy the easy card in a 7-Eleven or Family Mart. I usually use this. It's a lot cheaper, more convenient. In today's video, I'm going to buy a coin to show you guys how to use the coin. So if you're only here for a few days, I would say just use the coin. But if you're going to be in Taipei for more than three days a week, get an easy pass card. It will make your life so much easier. What you're gonna look at above the dispenser where you pay, each station has a number. That number is how much the station is. So today, I think I'll go to Don Park, which is 30. Then what you will do is you will select the number of your station. So Don Park is 30. I'm gonna hit 30. And there's my ticket. So now I can go down into the subway. After you get your coin, you're gonna to wanna to hold onto this coin because this is how you're gonna get out of the subway. So there's also lockers in the subway here. If you wanna get a locker, you can choose Chinese or English. So I'm gonna hit English. Okay, then you're gonna put in your passcode and just continue to follow the instructions. Once you finish the instructions, you'll be able to put your bag into the locker. You can choose a lot of different sizes for the locker. So you have these smaller ones, then you also have these larger ones, which are great if you're traveling with larger bags. You can see here, it's in, in, in Chinese and English. So for a large locker, it's gonna cost you 50 Taiwanese dollars for three hours. For a medium locker, it'll cost $30 Taiwanese dollars for three hours. Really good, I think it's a really good price for these lockers. You can pay with Opay, you can scan the QR code with your phone or tablet, and of course, you can also do cash. subways here in Taipei and in Taiwan in general are really simple to use. Uh, it's in Chinese and English and getting the coin as I showed earlier is really simple. So don't worry about the subway here in Taiwan. It'll be very easy for you. There are plenty of maps. So this is the level where we are. And then this is a map of the street level so you can figure out what exit you want to get out of. And then here is a map of the entire metro system here in Taipei. So you can see each line and each station. I've been on subways in other countries where the mess just lays there. I've never seen an actual worker come on and clean it right away. That was really cool to see. Right now, guys, I need to transfer to the red line here in Taipei. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to transfer here in the metro system in Taipei. All you need to do is follow the signs to your next line. Once you get to your final destination is where you'll be charged. That's why you need to make sure when you first buy your coin in the beginning that you know what station you're gonna be going to so that you can easily transfer and then you 
you can get out at your final destination without paying more. The instructions are really, really easy here in Taipei. Everything's in English and Chinese. So if you're confused on what side to go on, just look at one of the pillars and it'll say the name of where the subway line is going to be going. And when you line up to wait for the subway car to arrive, there are several lines that you should be standing on. This is one great thing about Taiwan, China, and Korea, that everything's very orderly. So whenever you're waiting for the train, nobody's really pushing. Everybody's usually in a single file line. You can see here in Taipei, they give two lines. So you can stand in both lines to enter one door. I love it, I love it. Car number two now, guys. <laughs> I made it to my final destination, Don Park. Do you want to know something embarrassing and honest? I have no idea why I chose this station. <laughs> I literally just picked a station to show you guys on this video and I, I just happened to pick Don Park. So let's see what is in Don Park. I actually don't think I've ever been to this station before. People are looking at me like I'm crazy today with this camera, let me tell you. Part of being a vlogger, right? ever have any questions or you're lost or you need information there's usually always one or two information booths here at all the stations here in Taipei so don't worry if you get lost and you're confused you can always go and ask them yay and I'm out guys I've never been to this station before it actually looks pretty nice I actually like this station look how open it is it's huge that's what I like about subways in different cities. Every station is usually different. I always love it when a city makes a station different from another one, and this is definitely a bit more open. There's a lot more older people here. I know there's a hospital nearby, so I don't know if that's why, but yeah, there's like a little picnic area here where you can just eat. It's cool. Now that I've shown you guys how easy it is to use the metro using the coin, now I'm gonna show you guys how much easier or faster it is to use your easy card. You can go to one of these machines down in one of the subway stations all you have to do is put the card here and go ahead Please insert bank notes. As you can hear, it talks to you in English or Chinese or Korean or Japanese, whatever language you want to choose. My card is good to go, so I'm not going to put any more on my card right now, but if you need to, it's here. All I need to do, guys, just swipe it here. I just missed it. <laughs> Don't you guys hate that when you get down into the subway and it's like, no, it just left. So as you can see, I have the subway, I have the metro station all to myself right now. Party. <laughs> Actually, it's nice because now no one is giving me crazy looks for talking to a camera. There are security cameras throughout all the subways here in the metro system in Taipei. So security is very high here. You really are in a safe place. And when you hear this music and you see the red light, that means the car is on its way. There it is. Okay, subway car number three. Here we go. I got on the wrong side. It happens. Okay, car number four now. If you don't have your cell phone and it's not working, you can always use a payphone too in the subway. I've never seen that before either. I'm finally out. <laughs> that was a long day in the subway, let me tell you guys. I'm off to the bus terminal, guys, and heading back to Sinshu. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and remember to live every moment to the max. I'll see you guys next time.